All right, so here is the other world, the elite flyweight out of Guadalajara, Mexico, Alexa Grasso. And it's interesting to look back to early portions of her UFC career. After the Carla Esparza loss in 2019, she had lost three of five, and nobody envisioned her as a future UFC champion, but she has stayed committed to the cause every step of the way. Her grappling improvement has been unbelievable. She's always been an outstanding boxer, but she has honed that, of course, under her uncle Francisco Grasso. This is one of the very best flyweights in the world. She is as committed to the cause as any man or woman in the world. I'm excited to see what she can do with this showcase here tonight. Well, with respect to Amanda Nunes, you can argue that Valentina Shevchenko is the greatest women's mixed martial arts athlete of all time. And by the way, I know you've been checking out that career mode. How about Shevchenko moonlighting as a coach? I mean, if you're going to be coached by anyone, you want to be coached by this young lady right here. She has won everything that she has done. And look, you had the Performance Institute. Before you get your lunch, you pop in and you see the champ. Valentina Shevchenko has the mind of a champion, but she also has the skills that have allowed for her to distance herself from the UFC flyweight division. She's a phenomenal fighter, and I'm pretty sure she's a phenomenal coach. And man, has she put her small nation of Kyrgyzstan on the world map with all of her UFC success. Another big spot in a career full of them for Valentina Shevchenko here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexa Grosso. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's Bantamweight champion of the world, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rules set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Shevchenko getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Get out of there. Pretty strong jab there by Grosso. And she continues to circle towards her right. Oh, big punch land. Three minutes to go. Oh, nice straight there by Grosso. Hard shots landing on both sides here. 
Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Well, they don't let you... She's hurt real bad. Nice side there by the champ. And that left hook landed on the button. Just missed with the left there. Shevchenko's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grasso. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was. And she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. Oh, how is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Good job by her with the left hand there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice jab by Grosso. Second round, straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got to make a decision when you get an offer of your school going to the next round that this is my fight, and I am not going to allow it to slip through my face. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. Yeah, she's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Upstairs. It got checked. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Grips the body there. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. She blocked that punch. Forward, forward, forward. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Just misses there with the left. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. Overhand punch to the head. Those are big strikes. Oh, and another one there by Gruss. Food shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in the weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. So unofficially 69 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grasso. And striking at a 44% clip against Valentina Shevchenko. Well, her reactions are really starting to change now as her opponent continues to pepper the body. They're big. You can see that she's almost panicking. She doesn't want to get hit anymore. You can see the damage that she... <laughs> Cannot take too many of those. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. There's the kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. 
Oh, great block there. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so the fight will continue, and as they attend to the fighter, we will get you some replays of all the damage she sustained in that previous round. Well, her opponent looked like the best fighter in the world. That is partly due to her not being good on the defensive side. It seems as though she came in here with an idea that she would be able to tough it out. Now she's dealing with this horrible cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Which corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds? Oh, nice shot to the body. Connects for her there. Somewhat surprising we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Stay on that cut for me. And forth we go. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, big elbow. Time to let those hands go. Lead kick landed there by Grosso. 90 total strikes have landed for Alexa Grosso. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Valentina Shevchenko. Let's go. Let's open up that cut a little bit more. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Well, you've heard us say it a lot, but oftentimes with the leg kicks, it doesn't take a whole lot of them to inflict damage, and now her opponent's limping already. On, yeah, her work. opponent's limping. She's done a really good job of attacking that leg kick and setting it up to make sure that opponent never checked him. Next kick, it's still gonna hurt him. Under two minutes to go. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. She's got to start looking to finish here. Man, high volume of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. is true. Oh. Ah. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I'm not sure how many more of these body kicks she can take. No, she can't take many more of these. These are damaging, brutal body kicks. And you see her reacting now to every one that is landing on her. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 
And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, huge connection player there. Massive shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? The right hand just misses. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Push kick there to the body. We march on three minutes to go. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Leg kick checked effectively there by Grosso. Work, work, come on. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Grosso's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear limp that the fighter is dealing with right now. Straight punch. Useful. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Could be the beginning of the end here. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Nice kick landed there by Grosso. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the body. Shevchenko's kick attempt there blocked. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Circling to her right. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked. Though. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Hands high, hands high. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish, or she's not gonna win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's fatigued, she's exhausted. She sees a fighter that has gotten the best of her. I can understand the frustration when she has to throw all that out the window and she's gonna try to chase the finish. Man, look at the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body.
Boom. Straight left hand. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lands. Good straight hand there by Shevchenko. That one landed, yep. Well, seemingly, even when she gets her hands up, a lot of these strikes are getting through and looks like some swelling on her head area now. I mean, swelling on her head. You know, she's getting beat up. Make no mistake about it, she's taken far too many of these shots. What she needs to do is get active in her defense, make sure that she doesn't get hit with too many of these shots clean. Because while it may not be bad yet, it's only gonna get worse. Final second. Oh, huge shot higher there, put all the weight into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her part. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play, because this fight is about done. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that striking to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-47. 50-45 and 50-46 for the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Alexa Grasso. All right, a dominant performance tonight for the Mexican Alexa Grasso, your winner by decision. The fight was fought where she needed it to be to win a decision.